Welcome everyone to this new course uh, titled as Orthogonal Frequency Division Multiplexing OFDM. From this course, you will enable yourself to be among those people who have full knowledge of OFDM such as OFDM transmitter design, OFDM receiver design, OFDM pros and cons, OFDM simulation, OFDM peak to average power ratio problem and solution and OFDM OOBE problem and solution. In order to take this course, you don't have to meet any requirements at all and for the course description due to its numerous advantages orthogonal frequency division multiplexing OFDM has been the most dominantly used transmission waveform in the vast majority of the currently available standards such as Wi-Fi, WiMAX, DVB, LTE and NBIOT. Moreover it should not be a surprise that the OFDM waveform with its new parameterized waveforms to meet the diverse requirements of different emerging applications and services has successfully maintained its dominance in 5G systems as well. It has been adopted due to its desirable properties and features including higher spectral efficiency, robustness to multipath with simple equalization in the frequency domain, easy integration with MIMO systems, and multi-user diversity where time and frequency resources are flexibly scheduled among users based on the requirements and channel condition. Nonetheless, OFDM has several major issues as well and drawbacks such as high peak to average power ratio, spectral leakage, strict synchronization requirements and frequency offset sensitivity. These issues have been heavily studied in the literature and many solutions were proposed to mitigate their side effects. In addition, it should be mentioned that in 5G new radio, different window based time domain filtering schemes have been proposed such as the universal filtered OFDM, filtered OFDM, time domain, window overlap and add based CP OFDM also flexible and effective frequency domain filtering scheme based on fast convolution was proposed for filtered OFDM as well. In this course called the OFDM for beginners, we explain in detail the main concept of OFDM which is a key transmission method used in 4G, LTE, 5G, Wi-Fi, WiMAX, WiGig, Li-Fi, DVB, VADSL and Optics. In particular, we comprehensively explain how OFDM works at the transmitter and receiver sites in wireless communication networks and show you the mathematical genius behind its implementation using inverse fast Fourier transform IFFT at the transmitter and fast Fourier transform at the receiver. Then we deeply explain its advantages, merits, how, however, with its disadvantages, demerits as well and why they exist. After this, we discuss technical solutions and methods for addressing the problem associated with OFDM based transmission systems. Finally, we show you how to simulate an OFDM system step by step using MATLAB and how to configure its parameter and debug if there are any errors in the code. The course content is as follows. First is the introduction to OFDM. Second is the OFDM in detail, what it is, what are its pros and cons, part one, and OFDM in detail, which includes the features and properties, part two, OFDM simulation using MATLAB software. And at the end from theory to practice, we take the OFDM implantation with the SDR hardware USRPs. 